And good morning. My name is Coach Big Pete of Deep Dish Football. This is Coach Big Pete's final thoughts for Deep Dish Football playoff game of the week. Last game of the week for Deep Dish Football. As we get started for uh, Cole City versus St. Francis taking on at Cole City Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. Should be a fun time. Just check the weather. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, no rain, no snow. So that's a good, that's always a good sign, especially for St. Francis. Um, again, is the ground of Cole City going to play a little bit of a, a factor? Don't know, but probably might well. Be very interesting. Um, especially with the running of the ground attack of Cole City heading up against that St. Francis run defense. I think that's going to be a huge, play a huge part. Um, also, how does Cole City's secondary deal with those tremendous wide receivers from St. Francis? Um, and are they going to give them a little bit of a cushion? Um, or are they just going to do bump? Uh, I would, it's going to be very interesting, definitely very interesting part of that for that. And special teams, like I always say, is going to play a special part too as well. Uh, they have a great field goal kicker in St. Francis, and I believe Cole State's got a pretty good kicker too. So, again, it should be very interesting in that side of the ball too. Um, personally, I think Austin Perlera, uh, Perlera I mispronounced the name, I do apologize, sir. Of Cole City, I think he's going to be a huge factor on the defense for Cole City. Uh, it seems to me, linebackers, uh, especially that have the big games against St. Francis, usually goes a little bit into their favor. I think Polar is going to have a great game against St. Francis. I think St. Francis on the St. Francis side of the ball, I think that defensive line again contain, contain, contain. Um, and close off the gaps. That's going to be huge against that Cole City offensive line. And that Cole City offensive line is an underrated offensive line. They've got great size on that offensive line. That's a definite. Um, another one big one that I talked about, Asia Cooper. Asia Cooper. Um, I think he's going to play a huge role for Cole City. Um, for St. Francis, Enzo Rodena. I think he's another huge playmaker. Uh, also, Bumpus from... St. Francis is another player to check an eye out for. Uh, T.J. McMillan, that kid is going to be something special. Class of 2023 20, player. He's a Division One prospect, no doubt about that. Um, is, but I, for, and I tell us to people too, Aza Cooper, don't sleep on that kid. That kid's a hell of a player. Um, again, two sports stars, three sports stars. That's what Cole City's known for. And it's going to be an interesting time. I can't wait. I'm excited to go to Cole City um, Saturday, uh, quarterfinal, Class 4A. Should be a lot of fun. Feel free to say hi. Please follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is CoachBigPeteFP at gmail.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Please fill out the recruiting questionnaire. Make sure that I have your information. Um, overall, one of the big things for this game, too, will be interesting to see Brady Crawford. Um, and I'm forgetting another defensive end's name, how much of a rush they can get on that passing attack of St. Francis. I think that's going to be another, play another huge factor um, as well. And again, I talk about Peyton Hutchings from Cole City. Um, his completion rate, again, huge, um, especially if that ball is going to feel like a rock with wide receivers because of the cold. We'll see what happens. I'm excited about this game. Um, I couldn't have picked a better game, but great way to spend a day in Cole City watching some football. So I'm excited. So this is uh, Coach Big Pete, and have a wonderful day, and feel free to say hi. Have a great day.